20 seconds and counting. Four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. The moon, our celestial neighbor, has forever gleamed with secrets and stories. As pioneers ventured beyond our atmosphere, they unearthed truths more astonishing than fiction. The Apollo 11 mission, a cornerstone in human history, not only landed the first humans on the lunar surface, but also unveiled enigmas that have kept us riveted. What are these astonishing revelations? Hold tight as we journey through 15 of the most mind-boggling lunar secrets that the Apollo astronauts brought to light. Number 1. The High Stakes of Apollo 11 The Apollo 11 mission wasn't merely a demonstration of spacefaring prowess. It was the embodiment of human tenacity, ambition, and geopolitical strategy. The legacy of this voyage is monumental, setting a benchmark in space exploration, symbolizing mankind's will to push boundaries. While the world rightfully celebrates Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin for their lunar feats, the mission's success also hinged on Michael Collins. Tasked with orbiting the moon while his colleagues descended, Collins carried the weight of responsibility, all the while harboring personal apprehensions about being the only astronaut to return if things went awry. The stakes of this mission transcended individual roles. Of this adventure, in the backdrop of the Cold War, when President John F. Kennedy announced his ambition to send an American to the moon, it wasn't merely about scientific exploration. Kennedy eyed not just the stars, but a superpower status, intending to outpace the Soviets in the space race. Apollo 11 was less about reaching a celestial body and more about achieving geopolitical supremacy. By setting foot on the moon, the U.S. didn't just achieve a scientific milestone, it symbolized its ascendancy over its Cold War rival. The mission, thus, was a culmination of intense political ambition, cutting-edge technology, and undeterred human spirit. Four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Number two, astronauts' glimpses beyond Earth. As Michael Collins orbited the moon in the Apollo 11 command module, he experienced a perspective few humans ever have. For approximately 48 minutes of each orbit, he found himself on the moon's far side, cut off from both his fellow astronauts on the lunar surface and from Earth, experiencing a profound solitude. This dark side has always been a source of fascination. It's a realm never visible from our planet, characterized by rougher terrain and a thicker crust, holding secrets of the moon's early history. But Collins's time alone wasn't the only mysterious event in lunar orbit. Neil Armstrong, during his time on the moon's surface, made an unexpected and somewhat secretive detour to the Little West Crater. Just 50 meters from the Eagle lander, this brief expedition was not initially in the mission's plan. Armstrong spent a few moments there collecting samples and capturing photos, yet he never publicly discussed his reasons for this detour. This unplanned crater visit has since become one of the small, enduring enigmas of the Apollo 11 mission, adding another layer to the mission's intricate tapestry of achievements and mysteries. Number 3. The Men Behind the Helmets In the luminous narrative of Apollo 11, three astronauts stood at the epicenter. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and the often overshadowed Michael Collins. Armstrong, as the world knows, etched humanity's first footprint on the lunar surface, symbolizing an unparalleled achievement. His partner in this lunar excursion, Aldrin, became the second man to walk on the moon, equally ensnared by the spell-binding expanse of the alien landscape. Yet, while they basked in the world's admiration, Collins faced a different kind of solitude. As the command module pilot, he remained in lunar orbit, never landing but playing a role just as vital. Born in Rome, Italy, Collins later joined the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, transitioning to a storied Air Force career. Before joining NASA, he tested high-altitude aircraft. His tenure at NASA was marked by exceptional skill and dedication, ensuring Armstrong and Aldrin's lunar activities were supported from space. While Armstrong and Aldrin became symbols of lunar exploration, 
Collins embodied the spirit of silent dedication, making monumental contributions without ever stepping on the moon. Their roles, distinct yet interconnected, wove together the tale of Apollo 11, a mission that changed humanity's perspective forever. Number 4. The Risky Business of Space Exploration Space exploration, especially during the nascent years, was fraught with peril, demanding not only immense courage but also creative solutions to unforeseen problems. The Apollo 1 tragedy remains a somber testament to this. On January 27, 1967, a cabin fire occurred during a pre-launch test for Apollo 1, leading to the unfortunate deaths of three astronauts, Virgil Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger B. Chaffee. The incident was a harsh reminder of the severe risks that come with pioneering endeavors in space. Recognizing the extraordinary dangers they were facing, Apollo astronauts came up with an inventive approach to ensure their families' financial well-being. Traditional insurance companies deemed space missions too hazardous to cover, forcing astronauts to think outside the box. Their solution? Autographed mission insurance covers. These were stamped envelopes signed by the crew intended to become valuable collector's items in case of a fatal incident during the mission. For Michael Collins, however, a different and profound fear loomed. As he piloted the command module, there existed a haunting possibility. What if Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin couldn't return from the lunar surface? Such an eventuality would mean leaving his colleagues behind and returning to Earth alone. The very thought was almost unbearable, emphasizing the emotional and psychological weight these astronauts carried along with the technical challenges of their missions. Number 5. Preparations and Training One of the monumental challenges faced by the Apollo 11 team was preparing for the moon's weak gravitational pull, just a sixth of Earth's gravity. To tackle this, NASA devised some ingenious training methods. Picture this. Astronauts, harnessed to the side of a slanted wall, practiced walking sideways. This unusual technique aimed to emulate the moon's reduced gravitational force, allowing astronauts to anticipate the moon's distinctive bounce-like gait. Imagine watching these seasoned pilots, trained for the harshest environments, now learning to moonwalk on Earth. It sounds surreal, but the innovative approach was invaluable. But the unconventional training didn't stop there. NASA developed Lunar Landing Research Vehicles, or Flying Bedsteads as they were colloquially known. These ungainly-looking contraptions, hovering perilously above the ground, gave astronauts the feel of landing a spacecraft on the moon's surface. Maneuvering these vehicles demanded immense skill, with astronauts having to contend with realistic simulations of lunar conditions. Several test flights ended in crashes, underscoring the training's inherent dangers. Yet, it was this rigorous and inventive preparation that made Apollo 11's historic moon landing a resounding success. Number 6. Crucial Components of the Mission In the annals of space exploration, few engineering marvels are as crucial as the Columbia Command Module. While Armstrong and Aldrin explored the lunar surface, this complex piece of machinery housed and protected Michael Collins. The module, designed to withstand the harsh vacuum of space and the intense heat of re-entry, was the only part of the colossal Apollo 11 spacecraft that safely returned to Earth. To this day, it remains a testament to human engineering, preserved at the Smithsonian Institution for Posterity. Yet as essential as Columbia was, another piece of equipment had a far-reaching impact back home, the TV camera. Initially met with skepticism due to weight concerns, this black-and-white Westinghouse camera, equipped with a 16mm lens, beamed back images that literally stopped the world. For the first time, millions, from all corners of the globe, huddled around their television sets, collectively holding their breath, witnessing history in real time as humans stepped onto another celestial body. However, for every accomplishment, there was a calculated risk. The Saturn V rocket, the behemoth that propelled our heroes to the moon, had an explosive potential so vast that VIP attendees during its launch, including political dignitaries, were positioned several miles away. This ensured their safety, emphasizing the gravity of the mission and the challenges faced in achieving this extraordinary feat. Number 7. Spiritual and Social Aspects In the vast, seemingly empty expanse of space, 
Buzz Aldrin sought a moment of profound spiritual connection. Amidst the technical marvels and intense focus on the mission's objectives, Aldrin paused to partake in a simple but deeply meaningful act. As the world watched in awe of humankind's greatest achievement, Aldrin, an elder at the Webster Presbyterian Church, took communion on the lunar surface. With a small piece of bread and wine, he celebrated the first Christian sacrament on the moon, grounding the enormity of the space endeavor with a timeless human act of faith and reflection. This private moment stands testament to the myriad ways in which the Apollo 11 mission transcended mere scientific exploration. However, back on Earth, not everyone was in celebratory spirits. Civil rights leader Ralph Abernathy led a protest right at the Kennedy Space Center just before the Apollo 11 launch. His intention wasn't to belittle the accomplishments of the space program, but to emphasize the jarring contrast. At a time when billions were being spent on exploring the moon, many on Earth were languishing in poverty. Abernathy's protests shed light on this disparity, pushing society to introspect on its priorities and emphasize the need for a balance between aspirations of the stars and earthly responsibilities. Number 8. On-Field Problem Solving When we think of space missions, we often visualize cutting-edge technology and near-perfect precision. Yet, during Apollo 11's stay on the moon, a seemingly small mishap threatened to strand Armstrong and Aldrin on the lunar surface. A vital circuit breaker, responsible for initiating the lunar module's ascent back to the command module, was accidentally broken. The astronauts faced the daunting possibility of being marooned on the moon, but in an inspired moment of on-field problem-solving, Aldrin ingeniously used a felt-tip pen to push in the broken circuit breaker, allowing the engine to fire and safely return them to Collins orbiting above. Speaking of Collins, while Armstrong and Aldrin made lunar history, he too was engrossed in crucial tasks. Orbiting alone in the command module, he undertook the responsibility of monitoring various onboard systems, ensuring the safety of the lunar duo below. Beyond his technical duties, Collins also had the vantage of capturing some of Apollo 11's most iconic photographs. One such image was the historic shot of the lunar module, carrying Armstrong and Aldrin, with the moon's cratered surface below and the distant Earth above. Such visuals, combined with the crew's resourcefulness, immortalized Apollo 11's legacy. Number 9. Unsung Heroes and Unexpected Collaborations As Apollo 11's monumental mission began unfolding, so did the stories of those behind the scenes. In a twist that few might expect, the company Playtex, primarily known for women's lingerie and baby products, played an integral part in designing the spacesuits worn by the astronauts. Yes, Playtex. The intricacies and precision required to create a suit that could withstand the moon's harsh environment while ensuring flexibility were staggering. Playtex's engineers, with their expertise in garment design and understanding of human movement, presented a soft, multi-layered suit. It outperformed competitors, becoming a vital part of the mission's success. Then there's Katherine Johnson, a mathematical prodigy. Her calculations were the backbone for the mission's trajectory and safe landing. Amidst the era's racial and gender biases, Johnson, an African-American woman, showcased immense dedication and precision. Her work was so trusted that John Glenn, the first American to orbit Earth, requested her personally to verify the computer-generated numbers before his historic flight. While Armstrong's step was one giant leap for mankind, it was Johnson's mathematics that helped guide his feet safely onto the lunar surface. Number 10. Handling Potential Catastrophes The weight of the Apollo 11 mission wasn't just felt by the astronauts, but it also loomed large over the entire nation. President Richard Nixon, understanding the immense risks involved, had readied a speech in case the mission ended tragically. This poignant document encapsulated the intense uncertainty of the time, preparing the nation for a potential scenario where humanity's brave attempt to touch another celestial body might end in heartbreak. But as the astronauts returned, another unexpected challenge emerged. There was an underlying fear, though seemingly outlandish, that these first men on the moon might bring back pathogens unknown to Earth potentially endangering life here. NASA, 
ever meticulous in its procedures, enacted a strict 21-day quarantine for Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins. Inside the Lunar Receiving Laboratory, the astronauts were observed for any signs of health anomalies. The surreal image of these heroes behind a containment barrier was a testament to how, in our race to uncover the secrets of the universe, we were still grappling with the mysterious potentialities of our endeavors. The quarantine underlined that even after achieving the unimaginable, our exploration came with profound cautions. Number 11. Reflecting on the Apollo 11 mission. Michael Collins' experiences while orbiting the moon became more than just a task for a mission. They transformed into profound realizations. Orbiting alone, Collins felt an unparalleled solitude, but it was accompanied by a revelation known as the overview effect. Gazing down at Earth, a fragile blue sphere against the vastness of space, he realized the interconnectedness of all life and the inherent responsibility of humanity to protect it. This viewpoint drastically shifted his values, making him an advocate for Earth's preservation. But the Apollo 11 mission was not just about groundbreaking scientific discoveries, it revealed the very core of human nature. The courage it took for these astronauts to venture into the unknown, the resilience they showcased when faced with unforeseen challenges, and the undeniable power of teamwork stand as a testament to human spirit and capability. It reminds us that with determination and collaboration, humanity can achieve the seemingly impossible, turning the wildest of dreams into reality. Number 12. Exploring the Mysteries of the Moon's Far Side The far side of the moon, often called the dark side, holds a wealth of mysteries, many of which are yet to be fully explored. One particularly intriguing aspect is the radio quietness. This side of the moon, never facing Earth due to tidal locking, serves as a natural shield, blocking out all the radio noise from our planet. This silence isn't just an eerie feature. It provides an unmatched opportunity for radio astronomy, free from Earth's interference, making it a potential site for future radio observatories. But it's not just the silence that's intriguing. Scientists have discovered evidence of the moon's mantle exposed on the far side, particularly in the South Pole Aitken Basin. Such exposure provides invaluable clues about the moon's evolution and inner makeup. Furthermore, the permanently shadowed regions of this lunar side hide pockets of water ice. This isn't just fascinating from a geological standpoint, it holds implications for future lunar habitation, providing resources for potential settlers. Number 13. The Technical Wonders Behind the Apollo 11 Mission The Apollo 11 mission, renowned for its groundbreaking achievements, was an intricate symphony of technical wonders. Central to this was Michael Collins, whose responsibilities extended beyond mere lunar orbiting. One of the most pivotal tasks he undertook was the undocking procedure, which separated the command module, piloted by Collins, from the lunar module containing Armstrong and Aldrin. This delicate maneuver demanded precision to ensure a successful lunar landing and subsequent rendezvous in lunar orbit. Equally mind-boggling was the complexity surrounding the lunar module's ascent engine. This engine was the astronaut's sole ticket back to the command module from the lunar surface. Its flawless operation was paramount. Even a minor glitch could trap Armstrong and Aldrin on the moon, potentially forever. The fact that these complicated procedures were achieved over 50 years ago with technology far less advanced than today's standards is genuinely astonishing. Such technical marvels underscore the brilliant engineering and meticulous preparation that marked the Apollo 11 mission. Number 14. Pioneering Technologies and Innovations When one reflects on the Apollo 11 mission, it's the pioneering technologies and innovations that often stand out, revealing a mastery of science and engineering that still feels otherworldly. One particularly astounding component was the lunar module's ascent engine. Unlike traditional engines, it had to operate flawlessly in the unforgiving vacuum of space, as it was solely responsible for lifting astronauts off the moon's surface and setting them on a path back to the command module. Just as critical was the meticulous undocking procedure. The lunar module, or Eagle, had to separate smoothly from the command module, Columbia, and make a controlled descent to the moon. But perhaps the most breathtaking was the rendezvous and docking challenge. This required Michael Collins aboard Columbia 
to rendezvous with the returning lunar module after Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin's moonwalk, and then dock in space, a complex maneuver that demanded precision and perfect timing, leaving no room for error. Number 15. The Continued Quest for Lunar Exploration The audacious Apollo 11 mission was but a beacon, ushering in a renewed drive to explore Earth's enigmatic satellite. Beyond the historic first steps of Armstrong and Aldrin, successive missions embarked on more focused lunar expeditions, driven by both scientific curiosity and the quest for resources. With the moon potentially harboring invaluable minerals, these missions became gateways to a future where lunar colonization and resource extraction might redefine interplanetary economics. Rich in helium-3, a potential fuel for future fusion reactors, the moon holds the promise of solving Earth's energy demands. Furthermore, its water-ice reserves, especially in the shadowed polar regions, present opportunities for sustainable moon bases, facilitating deeper space missions. Apollo 11 was not an end, but a beginning, setting a benchmark in meticulous planning, human courage, and technological prowess. As we stand on the cusp of another era of lunar exploration, it's evident that Apollo 11's legacy is foundational, shaping our ambitions and guiding our strides into the cosmos. Thanks for watching. And while you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos. I'll see you there.